Hello everyone, welcome again and this is the second video on topic here and we have done with installation of Node.js and we check the version also and we install our uh, IDE or you can say editor so and we create a folder for beta tutorial that we are going to cover all the rest cases here so let's start and check what the next thing we need to perform so the installation is done now we need to install the Puppeteer library from the Node.js so that we can uh, you can pass the command like npm i Puppeteer. So I'm going to just copy this command here and click to my uh, Visual Studio code. And I, uh, right now I'm on the terminal. If you want to open your terminal, just click on this icon. And there's here a terminal and this main terminal and click on the new terminal and check and you are on the terminal. To verify under Node.js, the Node.js is working uh, properly, just pass the command Node.b so you will get your latest version. So let's install the Puppeteer at the very first step. So, uh, step, so I pass the command npm i Puppeteer. So the process is going to start and it will take some time to install all the Puppeteer libraries from Node.js. Now it's in process and the next step will be to install Puppeteer code. So for that the command will be npm i Puppeteer code. So I just going to copy this and pass the next command in the terminal. So you can see now it's downloading the Chromium or the, or you can see the latest version of Chrome browser. The, uh, Chromium on which the, all the test case is going to run. So every time when you install the npm in your machine, it's going to download the Chromium. So it's the file size is 144 MB. So it will take some time, like it's done 44 percent till now. So let it be downloaded and I will get back to you. Okay, now you can see the downloading is done 100 percent and the installation also done for this library. So our second step is to install and uh, puppeteer code. So for that command is npmi puppeteer I want code. So I just copy this command and I'm going to paste here. Oh sorry. We are working on the tool. So just copy that command here. Oh it's not. You can copy it again. We can type also. Enter button. Now this time it's going to install the npm puppeteer code. So it's done. So it's download the code also. Now we need to create a file there, and that in the third step we are going to write the code, and uh, we're going to create a file. So I'm going to just copy this code and I'm, I'm, I already maintain, uh, manage uh, and write this document because to save the time so we just do not need to the live code live. Uh, we'll explain the complete code and we'll copy the code and comments from the um, website so we will save our time. So the, the next thing you can see the npm uh, property is installed and it create a file package uh, log with JSON. And if you now open this file, you can check the dependencies there. You can check the Puppeteer here and the version and all the things. So let's create a. Uh, also, you can check the Node Moodle folder also. It just create because we create a we install a library. So now under this uh, root folder, you just create a file. And which is going to I'm going to so, pop it here pop it here example desktop.js so I just create a javascript file and I'm going to pass the code javascript code and let's understand the code so the first line says constraint puppet here equals to require puppet it means it's going to be uh, import the uh, Puppeteer library here, so it's required and create a synchronous function here. 
where we declare a variable as a constant and we launch the browser to launch the browser await for pdr.launch so it's going to be launched the chromium browser and for the page it's going to create a new page so now we'll call browser.new page to create a page and the next step await page dot go to uh, code dot com and it's going to be codec and going to take a screenshot there so this is the script to uh, open a browser launch a browser and go to the url and then take a screenshot and save it at the location so right now uh, the location is not correct so i have to set any current location to the take a screenshot so let's create a a screenshot folder under the video tutorial for example in the, in the same location i'm going to create a folder which is called screen shot okay so let's go to the location let's copy it here tutorial into this to find the screenshot so i'm going to save the location of this folder here file name you can keep anything so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to convert this slash as a double slash so it will take as a path copy the tutorial and screenshot the folder name and the file name is one png so now I need to run this. So to run this, we need to uh, reach the root cause, the root uh, destination of this uh, file. So it's available under the Puppetia tutorial, tutorial, Puppetia tutorial folder, and we are in this Puppetia tutorial. So the command will be when you're going to run this. The command will be. Let me check it here. Node uh, and the file name. <coughs> so I'm gonna just enter. This and node, and I'm going to select copy here example dot text dot chess. So let's run the file and check the output. So as I said, uh, by default, it's not going to launch the browser as it has the headless execution, so it's going to run the test case in a headless mode. And and we generate the uh, screenshot. So, stretch it up. So, the execution is done. You can see the command is terminated and nothing is happened because it's performed the automation in the headless mode and now check the screenshot folder if there is some file. So, you can see <coughs> the file is there and the file should be from the codec. Page. So it's run the file in the uh, in a in a tablet mode, and let's take a screenshot and save it the location. So this is the very first example, initial example. We'll create a complete framework and start the uh, tutorial uh, start uh, start the automation in upcoming videos. This is just the, like for the for a, for an example. So how can you start the automation with puppet here this is not a proper way to create a single file so we are going to create multiple folders and going to uh, complete uh, setup installation of mocha and puppet here we'll create a combination of mocha and puppet here and perform proper automation we will generate the output also and create create the report also so stay tuned and wait for the next tutorial now uh, soon we are going to upload the third tutorial and that tutorial we will cover the complete project setup to start the automation with public.